All right, everybody, welcome back to Marymount's Day of Giving. My name is Elodie Nicola, and I'm joined here by men, by men's golfer Cameron Dawkins. Cameron, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm just chilling and having a good day. So, how are you? I mean, I'm good. It's some nice weather out here hanging out with you. Absolutely. It's Absolutely. a fantastic day. Exactly. It's Can't fantastic. Complain. Exactly. <laughs> so, with that, you're in your fifth year here at Marymount. Yes. What brought you back? Honestly, um, the good environment I'm in. Uh, I'm enjoying the area. Also golf, um, we're with Coach Neven at uh, TPC Potomac. We get to practice there and just want to, you know, finish out the year pretty good at Marymount University. So, Actually, I'm glad that you brought up that course because I want to ask you a little bit of what that's like for you guys to play on. Yeah, Oh, uh, it's great. I played there back in uh, 2018 for a, um, it was like a pro-am event and it was a lot of fun. And then for me to come back and just practice there and play there, it was just like such a good like feeling. So it's been, it's been a good experience so far. So what, you know, what did you graduate um, with here at Marymount? And tell me a little bit about your grad program. So I'm actually still in undergrad because okay. I changed my major. Uh, gotcha, back okay. In 2000 and I believe it was 20 because um, I was doing IT at first. So I switched it to a business minor or business major with a sports marketing minor. So Right. So what do you hope to do with that? Uh, honestly, I'm thinking into like something with marketing. Okay. I actually like it, especially with like my business that I have now, my clothing brand and stuff like that. I've like understood a little bit of marketing and like the kind of like the background of like having a brand and just things like that, or just like um, having a team in a sense, or uh, <coughs> knowing a team or working for a team. So I think that's pretty cool. Right, because you've taken some sports marketing and sports management classes, right. so you know, so you have that little bit of that outlook on there, and like yeah. you know what what those roles take, you know, exactly. with that kind of exactly. thing. So with that. Why are you here at Marymount? What brought you here in the first place? Honestly, uh, like I said before, the good environment, um, being able to play golf here at um, Marymount University. I would say just also just like how close we are with like how small of a school it is. Mm -hmm. You're like a lot closer to people in the area. You get to like, know people a lot faster. So I said those factors. So with not only being a golfer, you actually work alongside with me too yeah, sure. in the <laughs> athletic communications department. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about how that has helped you, you know, here at Marymount, kind of like maybe find your way yeah. and then how you intend on using those skills in the future. I would say working in the athletic department um, is always has its ups and downs, but for the most part, definitely is ups because being able to um, not only like work the games, you actually learn more about the game. So for me, I always grew up playing like soccer tennis just a whole bunch of different sports but like being um in the not background but also just being on the sidelines kind of seeing like the stats and understanding mm -hmm. that part of it it's pretty cool for me so you know i understood it at a different uh side of the table i definitely agree with you i think it's very unique being able to work different sports than other than the ones that you play because you develop a whole level of like respect for it that is true. and it's that is it's true. very interesting because everything seems a lot harder when you're like taking stats yeah, yeah. or you're watching the exactly. game very closely exactly. rather than just like sitting back kicking your feet up and watching it true. so with day of giving you know you guys are a smaller team you mm -hmm. know so you guys are able to do a little bit more than some than a team with like 50 plus people That's on true. it tell me a little bit about what these funds you know help you guys out with I would say for the most part, um, when it comes to just being able to do more, um, whether it's with the community giving back um, or just within the team and doing like having more tournaments to play or anything like that, it kind of helps grow the program and also reach out to others to kind of include them in the program. So. so a little fun question here. What has been your favorite course that you've played on um, while being a student at Marymount University? Um, I would definitely say TPC as our practice course. but. Um, outside as far as just like tournament based, I would say Glenmora, which we were actually supposed to play uh, this coming up weekend, but it's supposed to rain all weekend. Oh man. So we are not gonna, they're gonna actually postpone it and either move it into later this semester or into our, you know, spring season. So, and that was our conference where we played at. So the oh, okay. last semester. So. Interesting. Oh, yeah. All right, Camel, thank you so much for joining us here on Day of Giving. I'm excited for you and your team this year. Thank you, thank you. You as well.